Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today here in... I actually forgot the name of this place. Port Mage, that's right, and this is a huge city. And we have Zoti over there, uh, well, it's a huge... Let's say, in comparison to, uh, to Gilded Vale, it's actually a lot smaller, but it's probably about the size of, um... What was the name of that? Deerford, I think it was in the first game? Yeah, but uh, we came here because we needed supplies, and in the meantime, we have already met a couple of important people, I would think. Uh, at least the person who was preaching over there was the mayor, sort of? And there was somebody that was complaining to him, uh, and that might have been the mayor of some other town or something like that. I'm not really sure. Absolutely. Let's go around, let's have a chat with everyone, and we just have uh, Ruparu workers. Are they, Is that, like, the area? Oh, Zoti, Wanglith, Dawn Stars. Wait a minute, I know what that is. Do I? Maybe. Uh, hi. Accept the light, and you shall be redeemed. A woman shouts, arms raised high and wide. In each hand, she grips a golden candle. The flame gutter wildly, or the flames gutter wildly, as she gestures to the crowd before her. That's Wanglith who's talking. The missionary holds a candle to drip wax in the shape of three stars on the forehead of each kneeling worshipper. One of them stumbles back, sipping the hot wax from his skin. Sefutito, Madicchio, oh I did God. not sign up to be burned. <laughs> That's a swear word, right there. Yes. <laughs> you didn't know, well, I'm just gonna, what do you think you're doing, I'm gonna ask? Oh, mm, I'm not gonna ask that. I'm gonna watch from within the crowd and see what happens. It's starting to rain besides, so it's not a big deal for, for the wax burns. The priestess trembles her hand, uh, her arms, face pinched with disappointment. In the warm sea breeze from the port, loose strands of her sun-streaked hair whip about her face like a, li a living halo. This flame is not for purification. It is for illuminating the darkness. Sanctification comes only as a result of your journey. But the light will guide your way. Aethys has returned at last, but it's not too late to redeem ourselves. As surely as my fingers are webbed, I tell you, gone, never left. Despite her contrary words, the Juana woman shrugs, accepting the golden wax. Uh, a tribal civilization primarily comprised of islands uh, of Island Aumawa, which is a type of Aumawa, uh, which has thrived in the Deadfire Archipelago. So there it is. It's Awana. It's sort of... It's a tribe. That's how it is. Or a civilization, I guess. So it might be more than one tribe. Probably is more, because tribal civilizations usually have more than one tribe. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be... Eh, well, I guess. I don't know. Sakes alive, Wangliss. Ain't we got more pressing matters to attend to than a baptism? Who is the Z Zaoti? Arms crossed over her chest, a shorter, duskier woman watches the ritual with an ornery sort of expression. Her delicate chin jutted up. We just missed one of the biggest reapings of all time. What about the souls that need us? And she's le reaching for a lantern strapped to her hip. Do not push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for Lorne to service the dead? Rather than discouraging the other Dawnstar, oh, that's what they are, okay, uh, the accusation seems to kindle a stubbornness inside her. Shoulders set, she grins. Here, I'll light them all at once. Oh boy. Metal clanking, she sways an eerily lit lantern in an intricate pattern before her. The priestess bites her lip, swinging harder and faster, lithe arms hurtling the weapon with a deceptively hidden strength, until she thrusts it hard out towards the crowd, splattering everyone with wax. Uh, what souls are you on about again? The ones I dreamed died. What? Her words falter as she gets a good look at you for the first time. I'm guessing you're not here for the baptism. Uh, no, 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 wait a minute. You, you dreamed people died. Sure did. I get those kind of dreams sometimes. Yeah. The ones that turn out true. It, wait a minute, it's not Elthus? Nightmares more like. Terrors that come true. Had them since I was a little girl on the farm. Yeah. Guess Gon was speaking to me even then. Not Elthus at all. Gon is an aspect of Elthus. Oh, I didn't know this. Because we don't deal with Elthus too much in the first game, so yeah, I don't know Elthus too much. Associated with death and harvests. Now, if for those of you, for those of you who don't know what Elthus is and what god he is of, uh, he's the god of rebirth and death, but sort of more in the sort of cyclic nature of it, I think. 
uh, so this Elthus being the god part of associated with death makes sense, uh, even though Bareth is the god of death. They kind of go hand in hand, which is, I hope, going to be a source of um, interesting situations. His implements, uh, the Gaun, Gaunly, Gaun's implements, are symbolically important. The sickle reaps what is sowed in life, and the lantern guides the deceased down their intended paths of death and rebirth. And again, that's what Elthus is all about. It is generally believed that Gaun, instead of Barad's avatars, visits those who embrace death with acceptance and understanding. His most fervent devotees are known as Harvesters of Gaun. Hmm. Guess Gaun was speaking to me even then, she says. Some of our brethren suffer from these visions more than others, while some of us, favorably, have none at all. It ain't a curse. It's a blessing. A mark of the divine. What... what happened here? It's madness, right? Who'd have thought a giant green statue might storm through the port? <laughs> I did. I dreamed it for months. Wait a minute. Again and again and night and day until I pushed the others to come here. She probably doesn't know what Adra is. If she if she refers to the statue as green statue, uh, like you wouldn't refer to a golden statue as a yellow statue. You'd say it's a gold statue, right? Um, so for, for in, in the world of the pillars, it stands the reason specifically with Adra being so important to religion and a, a bunch of other stuff. And well, not just religion, but life and death and souls and all that sort of stuff. Um, she would say Adra statue. So they might not have it here, which is actually, I think, in the beginning of Pillars of Eternity 1, you actually are told whether or not uh, Adra is common. I think it is more uh, more common in the Deerwood, because I think that's where the Ingwithans were and all that sort of stuff. So she probably doesn't know. Um, again and again, she dreamed of the statue coming. Oh. We told the governor, but he wouldn't evacuate on account of me uh, not knowing exactly when our god might arrive. No one believed it, but how could we know? Hmm, well, I'm looking for that other statue. Yeah, uh, what? No, 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 not yeah. What is that? Yehi? Oh, Yehi, a sort of nice, I see. I didn't, I never seen that written. Well, there it is. Uh, I'm looking for Elthus. I knew it! And she clenches her grip on the sickle in her right hand. Oh, that yeah, that's a symbol. I know, I knew that because uh, I I don't think we have heard of uh, we had heard of the sickle in her hand. But yeah, so she's definitely one of the followers of Gorn or whatever. Gorn's been calling Gorn. me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. Uh, can you tell me who Gorn is? Gorn's a smidge of darkness in the light. <laughs> He was the part of Aethys who divined the dignity of dying, and the return journey to life. Hmm, interesting. Um, I, getting getting a lot of uh, Buddhist vibes from this, um, which pro I don't know though the iconography though. I I'm not familiar enough with Buddhism to know about if the sickle and the candle are anything to uh, to be similar or a reference or inspired or anything. Um, the, it's important to remember that uh, the symbol of Elthus is a rising sun, I think. Uh, and you can see that sort of in the, in the logo of the game. I can't show it right now, but if I uh, access the... I think if I access the pause screen, I can show you. So Elthus is the rising sun or something like that. Uh, but uh, being the smidge of darkness in the light is... Uh, it's a very, very interesting way of putting it. It's not the other way around. It's, it's it, like the smidge of light in the darkness. It's the opposite, so that's interesting. Who are you? Oh, hell. Now, where are my manners? Oh, another one that we don't know. Oh, it's a colloquial term used for the beyond in Adir, the Deerwood and Red Ceres. Oh, it's hell. It's Inferno, I guess, or death, or beyond, great beyond. Ooh, we've been to it. Yeah. I'm Shodi, child of the Dawn Stars and Priestess to Gone, at your service. I'm sorry I mispronounced your name before, and Adair nods in agreement. Why Why are you doing that? pro -Athasians. Is that because he's a pro or is it because I'm a pro -Athasian? Because I'm not really sure if I made too many choices regarding Elthus. Uh, or at least rega I did regarding Elthasians, who are the followers of uh, Elthus. She thrusts a hand out for a friendly shake. Yeah, you're a priestess of Gone, not Elthus? A dark smile curves her uh, curves up her lips, and her eyes glint with a fierceness. Darn right I am. Why? You know an awful lot about Gone? Uh, what? what not much, actually. Uh, no. 
The priestess splints her hands on her hips. Her fingers are slim but calloused, more suited to a farmer's daughter than a cleric. Don't sound too curious now. Oh, wait a minute. Can't I... Can't I... What are you we're talking about? <laughs> She's... <laughs> is she like the new Durance? Don't shake your lantern at me, miss. She is. She's doing that. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's going to be like a new Durance. Hopefully she joins me. Because it, it is interesting that she was marked on the map. Um, can't say I care more for re religion. Well, actually, in the world of Pillars of Eternity, this has a completely different meaning than what you would say if you were in the real world. So I'm not really sure what the developers wanted with this line. Uh, I'm going to go with the second one, quite obviously, because I can't tell what this one means. Because um, if you said, can't say I care much for gods... Now that, that would be a completely different thing. Uh, in, in the world of the Pillars of, e of Eternity, religion isn't so much a dogma as it is sort of a, just simply philosophy really, and a sort of your way of life. Uh, which of course religion in the real world also encompasses in, to, to more or less extent depending on what religion you follow. Um, but of course it doesn't, it doesn't, there's no dogma there. There's just, you know, you follow a god. And what god you, you follow, it's up to you. Uh, I was hoping you might enlighten me. Not if we had more time, sure. She grazes her fingers over the sickle strapped to her side. Her, her, her gaze flicks to the priestess with the golden candles. Yeah, we kind of... Well, hopefully we'll get time, Shotty. But the others don't like it much when I get to talking about death. Huh, Ether looks skyward. He shakes his head. What exactly is that all about? I can't understand this yet. Okay, it's fine. Why do you want to go inland? There are souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Enough nonsense, Jyoti. No one knows if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. Wenglith, you guide the living and I guide the dead. Gone bids it and I dreamed it. Leave it be. We all serve our purposes. So what's yours? Hmm. <laughs> What do you think? Biting her bottom lip, she looks you up and down. A pleased sound leaves her throat. I think I know what you are. Her brows raise in a, sh in a sort of challenge. And here you are, following my god. How does she know I'm a watcher? Watcher, will you take me with you? She does. Um, I will. Uh, but wait a minute. Let's see. A fine proposition. I'd enjoy the company of a priestess. Definitely, I, I definitely need a priestess or a priest. Uh, why not? Perhaps you'll prove useful. You can tag along as long... Eh. And it's just basically a spectrum of being nice or being uh, not as not. But not not necessarily uncalled for. So I let you join me. How would that benefit, Nia? Uh, yeah, a fine proposition. I'd enjoy the company of a priestess. I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> you won't regret this. She's like the new Durus. I love it. She steals a shy glance at Ether, uh, or Idair. Hey. Hey, Idair's half, uh, Idair half nods without looking into Shodi's direction. She, he seems suddenly focused on something in the distance. A tad too eagerly, she saunters close behind, beside you. At least take care, child. Come back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sawin's. The older priestess sighs, shaking her head. Who's Sawin again? So don't tell her. What the high priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Uh, oh, wait a minute, that's probably the High Priestess, I guess. Yeah. We're probably, well, she's gonna see you with me, so anyway. There it is. I, uh, I have Soti, Shoti, Shoti, Shoti. That's, I'm gonna have trouble remembering how to pronounce her name. In time, I also had trouble with the dare, so who cares? And I still have. I just sometimes say a dare, a dare, or just damn, whatever. It's fine. So, a single class or a multi-class for companion. Now, for priests... It is absolutely necessary that you get the highest level, at least in the first game. They are really, really powerful higher level spells that you definitely want. There's one, anyway. Uh, and Contemplative, which is... A, oh, but we, we can make it a, a mixture, of course. Okay. Uh, Multi-class characters, I know. Thank you. And we have a Priestess. Awesome. Happy to oblige. Uh, ooh, that voice went come, came from the Great Rehond. Uh, and she has the symbol of Veothas, or it might be gone, or Gom, or the other one that I don't remember. Uh, what is that? Potion of Spirit Shield. I don't want you carrying potions. Nobody carries potions in my team. Did they, uh, well, unless unless Obsidian fixed the game in, in regards to absolutely requiring potions, because the first one doesn't require potions for the most part. And actually, I, you probably, you definitely can beat the game without using a single potion, unless you're playing on 
uh, Path of the Damned. And even then, you can beat half the game without using a single potion. I proved it right. And she has some pretty decent stuff in here. Uh, small shield, one-handed, adds to deflection. Uh, so, the crossbow. You know what? I do want you to have a... Uh, what? Shut up. Uh, I do want you to have a... Um... Oh, look at that! They stack! That's quite a surprise. Look at Obsidian learning about their inventory management. Uh, I will s copy that over there. Good, good, good. And I will have... Uh, so, that's I'm using melee on the first one. Yeah, sounds about right. And I can use the pistol. Excuse the hiccup on that one. Uh, except I can't because the game is weird. So, let's put it over there. Right there. Good. And she is using Vestments of Gone. They're very green, and they're very lovely. Okay, so one thing that I want to test... What can I do? That's good. That's good. Happy to oblige. And that's also pretty good. Defensive, save. I don't know what happened before when the game didn't save my, uh, my, my thing. So let's level her up. She is a priestess. She, that means uh, alchemy and arcana. Arcana is for most likely... Um, can I... Act oh, I can't es escape from here. I can't, I can't leave this screen. Once I click that, I'm screwed. Uh, which is a shame, actually. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see. Uh, so, basically, Arcana, I think it is for casting scrolls and stuff. Uh, she's gonna be very busy in general. Alchemy is gonna be for crafting. Uh, so, I'm gonna go with Alchemy over here, and we'll see how that goes. And then over here, we have History, which is great, actually. That might be... Oh, Religion might be better for her. Yeah, let's go with Religion over there. Uh, generally, <clears throat> she has a pretty decent set of, uh, of skills here. I believe these come from uh, from probably her class and stuff like that, rather than... Yeah, she doesn't... I don't think you can choose skills at the beginning. Can you choose skills on character creation? Anyway, let's see. Ability selection. Yeah, can you, let's see. So this is... Can I... Uh, level 19, okay. So yeah. Hand of Bereth. I don't know that one. Blessing of Whale. That's also another god. Uh, and really mean. Why does she have that? No, wait a minute. Whale is not the mean one. That's Cain or something. Uh, Whale is the god of um, revealed mysteries. And Magrin's Might. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, that's right. This might... I I only remember Magrin's Might because that was Durance. And Durance was a follower of Magrin. She has... Why does she has? Why does she have all of this, though? Revenge of Skain. That's the mean one. Yeah, that's the mean one. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know why she has all that stuff. This one is pretty decent. This one is pretty decent. This one is also pretty decent. This one is amazing. This one is... Everything is amazing. Arms bearer. No, don't need that. What is this one? Damage on a... No. Uh, over here, she has that already, right? Uh, she has that. Okay, so I'm probably going to go with the blessing because that is really, really powerful. And something I use a lot. Uh, so let's go with that. And let's pay attention to what happens on, on that. One active skill, one new ability for priest. Abilities gain the blessing. Doesn't show anything else that changed. But I seem to recall at least this stuff wasn't there okay. before so it doesn't show on character uh, on character level up uh, so let's see our formation here yeah I can I can have you like this let's put it like that okay good mm -hmm. stuff now everything is good there except for that so you're good I'm gonna have a chat with you in a little bit oh also Happy that's a heal very very good uh, let's see let's have a chat with English Wengleth. can we talk you watch over her, you hear? We'll talk. That's one of ours whose fate you've taken into your hands. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I will. For God's sake, I don't need Nanny and Wangleth. I've reaped more with my two hands than you'll dream in a lifetime. And you've pride in that. Do you see why she needs guarding? You must shield her light. Do not let her lose it or her life. Do you seek a blessing from the light? Uh, sure, I would like a blessing, yes. The priestess's entire, or the priest, how do you say that? I don't know. The priestess's entire expression brightens, lit by holy righteousness. You chose wisely. Endurance is the path to perfection. Hand me your palm. Okay. We'll strengthen your spirit through tribulation. The woman snatches for your wrists with a fervent strength. Her fingers are cold, unrelenting, and tight, but the candle flame that she presses to your skin is white hot, instantly singeing. This flame lacks the flicker of guidance, but it will purify both flesh and soul. 
Let the pain absolve your sins. Okay. An acrid smell assaults your nose as, n as smoke curls up from your skin. The pain is a constant jabbing, the tip of the flame needling at your nerves until your fingers begin to shake uncontrollably. And now for the benediction. What I speak, you repeat after me. Godly redeemer and bringer of light, who shepherds his flock through the labyrinth of hell. Though you currently rest in peace, we remain devoted until the time of your revival. We believe in your coming rebirth, in the restoration of your holy greatness, and we now beseech you... The fire continues to eat through flesh and muscle, digging into bone. Adair seems pleased, because it's traditional. Yeah, he is very much traditional. Um, yeah. To banish the shadows of the unfaithful and wash away the sins of our past. <laughs> I'm supposed to remember all that? No, I can't remember. I'm, I'm, I'm smart. Uh, godly redeemer and bringer of light. Without so much as a movement from either of you, the flame suddenly snuffs out. Oh boy, this is not safe. What's going on? Wanglith nods. Oh, I think I said everything. Interrupt. You know, it kind of, it was weird if I just said that and the flame went out. Uh, she nods and rubs a glob of wax into the wound. Good. The light accepted you for its host. Did you also catch that she said that her god is resting in peace? She doesn't... She either doesn't know that Elthas is... I don't... That doesn't... El, he's not resting in peace. He's very much a not peace. Go and be well. Walk within the light, and you shall not falter. With a flick of her fingers, she spatters you with golden wax. Can you please stop that, lady? This hair... This hair... This hair, this hair over here is terrible to make up. Can you imagine getting wax in there? Eh, I don't know how wax just goes with, uh, with, um, hair. The children of the dawn stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. Interesting, not to be confused with supernatural manifestations of Elthas, the children of the Dawn Stars are Red Saren followers of Elthas who here, who have traveled to the Deadfire Archipelago as migrant workers in the decades following the Saints' War. The Saints' War was when uh, Elthas basically invaded Deerwood country to the north. Lacking, or I think west or something, it's a, another country. Lacking colonies uh, colonies of their own, Dawnstars can often be found in the employ of Valen Trading Companies or Royal Dead Fire Company. Okay. There's someone I used to know. Just uh, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around, see if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Just a friend, huh? Shoti rubs the back of her neck, clearly uncomfortable. Uh, how did you know her? Oh, uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. Uh, your cheeks are red, dear. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Oh, okay. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog that's, howling in the no, next room. I, that's... Zoti's, Shoti's face models bright red and she turns away, hands covering her, her eyes. Yes, yes, that was... Uh, a dare. That was so in character as well. <laughs> oh, boy. I get the picture. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. No, oh, You're gonna <laughs> like her. I got a good feeling. <laughs> a dare, you're the best. <laughs> That's so good because it's so in character. It's fantastic. Because it sounds so off, like, it sounds so offbeat, so out of nowhere. Um, uh, uh, the, 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 sh the shift, the shift between embarrassed and, and just completely uh, <laughs> inappropriate. That it's just so, so, ad so there. It's really, really, I, it's fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna have a chat with these Dawn Stars. I think I might, oh my god, the, there's, where is this cricket or whatever? Hey, doggy, how's it going? May Aethys' light shine upon you. Indeed, that's how I think it is pronounced. The dog gives a single quiet whine. Its stub, uh, its stub of a tail wags excitedly. Hey, are you whining? How the, how the gods, uh, dogs work? Seriously, do they whine when they're not happy? Or is that on purpose? I'm gonna pat the, the, the dog. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. The dog narrows its eyes contentedly as you pat it for a few moments. Oh, there it is. Let's ask it about... Oh, Arf. Couldn't ask about the others. Hey. I wonder if the Dukes regret their investments here. Well, they regret their investments everywhere. They're terrible people. Hi. May Elthus's light shine upon you, says that. Guy? Girl? Whatever. 
Uh, what do we have? The wagon holds only a few boxes and scattered garments. It's not right. I came here on the first ship. Why does an islander get paid the same as I? They're bigger than you. And they haul cargo without whining about it. Well, it's not right. Sounds right to me. <laughs> anyway, what do I know? Um, so, ooh, bottles. A fair wind to use. No, I don't want any wind. Oh, that's just got, going away. Okay. And I'm just exploring the southern edge of, of the map because uh, that's how I do. I usually go around the map and try to figure out where everything is. We have a couple of grog. And look at that. Already provisions for our for our journey on the sea. And we have a couple of sailors over here. And Raparo workers. Yeah, Raparo is probably another one of the tribal. No word from the Animancers? Oh, really? Not a thing. Oh, Animancers? You guys have any masters down here? That's my favorites. Oh, we have fish. I don't. That's not silver fins. Hmm. The Deerwood Captain. Are you here to stay? Yeah, I've I've heard other commoners say that as well. I know. I need to go to the Kraken. Race fresh you fish. to the coral. Holy crap! No contest. What? Just because you have webbed fingers and I can't swim? You are a strange man. <laughs> no, he's not. He's smart. Also, his humor might be strange to you. So it, that might mean exactly what you just said. Anyway, I, I'll go to the uh, I'll go to the Kraken over here, but I'll also end the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pillars of Eternity 2: Dead Fire. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank mm -hmm. you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.